The other day, a friend of him approached him excitedly, saying, "I found the house of my dreams. It's in foreclosure, and the bank will sell it to me for a great price." How good is the price? He asked. Just before the real estate market crashes, the seller was asking seven hundred eighty thousand dollar for the property. Today, I can buy it from the bank for two hundred fifteen thousand dollar. What do you think? She asked. How would I know? He replied. All you give me is the price. Yes, she quieted. Now. My husband and I can afford it. Only cheap people buy on price. He replied, "Just because something is cheap doesn't mean it's worth the cost." He then explained to her for one of most basic money principles: he buy value. He will pay more for value. If he don't like the price, he simply pass. If the seller wants to sell, he will come back with a better price. He let them tell him what they will accept. He knows some people love to have gold. Personally, he don't. If a person wants to sell, they will sell. If he feels what he is buying is of value, he will pay the price. Value rather than price has made him rich. Again, his advice: his friend sought financing for her dream home. Fortunately, the bank turned her down. The house was on a busy street in a deteriorating neighborhood. The high school four blocks away was one of the most dangerous school in the city. Her son and daughter would either have to go to private school or take care. Lessons. She is now looking for a cheaper house to buy and has asked her father, who is retired, for half with the down payment. If her past is a crystal ball to her future, she will likely always be cheap and poor, even though she is a good, kind, educated, hardworking person. What follow are some thoughts on why his friend will probably never get ahead financially, especially in this market. She and her husband have college degrees but zero financial education. Even worse, neither plans to attend any investment classes. Choosing to remain financially uneducated has caused them to miss out on the greatest bull and bear markets in history. As his rich dad often said, "What you don't know keeps you poor." The reason number one is zero financial education. In the world of money and investing, you must learn to control your emotion. When you think about it, three of our biggest financial decisions in life are made at times of big emotional decisions. Deciding to get married, buying a home, and having kids. His dad often said, "High emotion, low intelligence. To be rich, you need to see the good and the bad, the short and long-term consequences of your decisions." Obviously, this is easier said than done, but it's key to building wealth. The reason number two is she is too emotional. She doesn't know the difference between advice from rich people and advice from sales people. Most people get their financial advice from the latter. People. Who profit even if you lost? One reason why financial education is so important is because it helps to know the difference between good and bad advice. As the current crisis demonstrates, our schools teach very little about money management. Millions of people are living in fear because they follow conventional wisdom: go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, buy a house, get out of debt, and invest for the long term in a well-diversified portfolio of a mutual fund. Many people. People who follow this financial prescription are not sleeping at night. They need a new plan. Had they sought our little financial education, they might not be entangled in this mess. So here is the reason why the ship will never get rich. I hope this video will be useful to you. And if you think this video is very useful to you and you want to get more videos, don't forget to click subscribe and share it to your friend. I hope you enjoy your day. Thank you for watching.